So if you don't live under a rock, you've probably heard the buzzword AI being said all over the internet. Even the gurus and the grifters are hopping on the bandwagon and trying to cash in on this new craze. We know that AI is about to change everything. But does AI actually serve a purpose in a business environment? And can I use AI to start an e-commerce business to profit from? I'm Robert. And I'm a software engineer that has founded a custom hat company that has done over six and a half million dollars in sales in two years. And now that I have my business kind of running on autopilot, I'm using my time to start up other software and e-commerce businesses. I was pretty impressed with the art that was coming out of these AI generators, and I got super interested in it. So I started doing some research and Googling on the AI art platforms that currently exist. And I landed on Midjourney. It uses Discord and a bot, and you feed it commands to render artwork for you. So for example, if we fed it the prompt, a cat riding a donkey in the desert in the style of Van Gogh. It's weird, I know, but just go with it. And in a couple minutes, the bot would render and then return four separate versions of that prompt that you gave it. You can also then request variations and upscaling of which one you like the most. After seeing how quickly I could iterate through my ideas and come up with concepts and see them very rapidly, it was pretty addicting. And I came up with some pretty weird and fun stuff. But how could I use this AI generated art to start a business. So the concept I've landed on is using AI to create portraits of famous people. I want to use my creativity to make these portraits tell a story. Real art conveys meaning and emotion, and I really want these portraits to do that. I don't want them to just be a picture of the person. I want them to actually tell a story and have meaning. Legal disclaimer. I did some high level research on the legality of using someone else's likeness and selling artwork specifically. And from what I gathered, if you create the artwork, you can do it, but it is a gray area. So keep that in mind. So let's sit down and come up with some concepts for the art that I want to generate using AI that I think will look good and have an impactful, meaningful experience to the viewer. I want these pieces of artwork to be powerful, but also kind of humorous in a way. So the first one that I want to do is just like, Elon Musk. How do I picture him like as like a king or like like a lion king? That sounds cool. And when I'm doing this, I'm also kind of thinking of what the title of the product will be. So Lion King, call that uh, Mr. Musk. Next up, uh, Kim Jong Un is he's kind of a meme just at existing as a human. So we're going to do some Kimmy. And I think making Kimmy a cowboy on a horse would be pretty funny. Maybe uh, like Steve Jobs. I think that'd be good. And maybe we'll portray Steve Jobs as like a Chinese warrior. Apple's pretty well known for how much Chinese labor that they use. And this is kind of a funny jab at that. Uh, let's go ahead and make a Mark Zuckerberg one too. And let's make him a robot because everyone knows he is a robot. I am a robot. And last but not least, I think we need to do a Jeff Bezos. At this point, Jeff Bezos is like kind of running the world, or at least the United States. So many employees. Let's make a 1940s war poster trying to rally troops, AKA employees for his businesses. I think that'd be pretty funny. Let's go build those in mid journey, feeding it some input, see what it looks like. So we kind of look through here at the output and some of the different iterations that I went through on creating this Elon Musk one. It started out looking way too much like a lion, not really what it was going for, but the top left one looked pretty good. So then I made a variation off of the top left one. And this is the one that I think we're gonna end up going with. This warrior one turned out pretty cool too. And then for the Mark Zuckerberg one, we wanna make him look like a robot. And really all of these look awesome. but we're gonna end up landing on this one. And for Steve Jobs, I initially typed in the prompt, Chinese labor driver, and he looks like a truck driver. That's not what I was going for. And then I went Chinese warrior, and we're getting much closer there. So I did a few more variations of that. And we're gonna end up landing on this one. I really like the way this one turned out. When I first thought of doing one for Kim Jong-un, I thought how funny it would be for him to look like a suburban dad, with cargo shorts and New Balance shoes on. But unfortunately, the AI generator just could not comprehend what I was trying to tell it to do. I just ended up showing a picture of a shoe and was a chubby guy, pretty funny. But you can see the cowboy prompt was giving some great results. 
and ended up landing on this masterpiece. Honestly, this is probably my favorite of all the ones we did. I'm probably gonna hang this one up in my living room. So on the Jeff Bezos, I wanted to go for like the 1940s war poster look. And these are just so cool. You can tell it pictured, it picked up on the styling like automatically of what I was going for with just that prompt of 1940s war poster. I really like this bottom right one. So we're gonna land on this one and I can edit the text in Photoshop to make it say what we want it to say. So now that we have the actual artwork, let's order some samples and see what the physical print ends up looking like hanging on the wall. I'm gonna use Walgreens to order these. They have like a same day photo service. I know this because my wife has ordered tons of pictures from them and always makes me go pick them up, but I've never actually used it myself. And I'm not sponsored by Walgreens, but hey, Walgreens, if you wanna send me some money for this, I think it's pretty crucial to see the actual physical product in person. I find it hard to sell something that I haven't actually seen and interacted with physically in person. And will be definitely worth the investment to test this out. Hint, hint, all you Alibaba Chinese drop shippers out there. Freaking hate winter. It's like the wife's, it's warm. Instant regret. Uh, hashtag kids. What's crazy is I actually ordered these last night at like 8.45 and got an email saying they're ready at 9.50. That's insanely fast. We live in a world that makes it possible to like rapidly test and iterate things. It's such a cool world we live in today. All the technology at our fingertips that you really take for granted and don't think much about. Speaking of technology, uh, what a day to be alive. Goods acquired. Without fail, the golden arches pull me in. Thank you for choosing McDonald's. Would you like to round your total up to 21 for Ronald McDonald's house? Uh, no thank you. I hate saying no to that. Okay, these are pretty awesome. So cool creating something on the computer and then seeing it in real life in person. Kimmy Poo, Marky Mark, Jobsy Boy, Daisy Boy, Musk. Okay, so these things turned out pretty awesome. Look at this beautiful, beautiful portrait here. That is going in the living room. Hey, Nat, come look at our new picture. Absolutely not. No! We got Jobsy here, the Chinese warrior, and the king, Mr. Musk, the king, the true king. How defiant, inspiring that photo is. Yeah, Mr. Zuck as the robot. This turned out great too. It's gonna look real good, huh? Look at those details on the face. And then my Bezos piece, where I ended up editing this a little bit myself to add the text to it. Delivering America's junk. Join today, the Bezos army. Powerful, I know. So each print cost about 10 bucks. Those frames, they were just sitting there at Walgreens. I was like, sure, I'll buy those. They're like 17 bucks each. So we're about $27 in each photo. I think we could realistically get uh, 50, 60 bucks per print framed. I don't think that's too ridiculous of an ask. So some pretty good margins there. We're already at a 50% margin. And if we were buying these things in bulk from a printer online or something, we could get a way steeper discount on that price. I think we could get these prints for a few bucks each versus 10. But the fact that I was able to get them so quickly from Walgreens for 10 bucks is, that's impressive in itself. Now that we have the physical artwork in hand, now we just need to quickly stand up a Shopify website and list our artwork for sale.
I'm also going to have to come up with a name and a brand identity that kind of correlates to the artwork that we're selling. And there you have it. From concept and idea, to physical samples, to an active e-commerce website where people can actually buy it. I absolutely think that AI, when it comes to art, can be used viably in a business setting. It allows me as the artist to rapidly prototype and think and see ideas, to then take and tweak and make better and offer as a product, either a shirt or a, like what I'm doing, an actual print artwork wise. But there's many other types of art that you can create using this tool. But the biggest thing is it's saving me as the artist time. I can think of something very quickly and get a high level proof of concept of that design using AI. This is super powerful. I hope this video also showed you how quickly you can come up with an idea or a concept for an e-commerce business and spin it up. And you can do this over and over and over again until you find a product or service that actually sticks. It's gonna take time and dedication to grow and scale any of these businesses, but if you put in the work and you constantly iterate and constantly improve, there's no way that it doesn't pay off. And this brand might not work at all, but I know if this art resonates with me, there's very high probability that there's someone else in the world that this artwork would also resonate with. I could show this art to them and get them to buy it. I also have to figure out the fulfillment piece to this. The printing and packaging of these prints, if anyone purchases something off the website, is currently it's just gonna be me doing exactly what I did in this video. But if this does get traction and people start ordering, I'll quickly figure it out. And honestly, most of the fulfillment centers that exist out there for this type of stuff, the print on demand, they're all pretty bad. So I'll probably end up just doing it myself and building out the system and infrastructure to do this. And the cool part about doing that is once I have that built, I can then be the source for fulfillment for other people doing AI art. And then you've got kind of two businesses in tandem. You've got the business actually fulfilling the orders and you've got your art business actually selling the art. And that is a super powerful combination. If you want to see more of my business journeys and ideas, please subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be spinning up way more software projects, way more art projects, and way more e-commerce projects. And I'm gonna document all of them. I'll also do a follow-up video on how this business goes. It might be a video saying we get zero dollars in sales, or it might be a video showing great growth and success. I don't know. If you're interested in hearing more about how I built my business, you can check out this video here and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.